Hello, this is Reza from Visual Components and in this tutorial we want to create a basic robotic cell using process modeling. So for this purpose go to Models by Manufacturer and then Visual Components folder. Then you will see the process flow components, resources, template components and transport controllers. So from flow components import a product feeder. This will create our product. Sending it to a conveyor, so import one conveyor and place the second one with a gap in front of it. This gap will be the place for the robot which will put the part into a machine. So let's import a robot controller first and then get a machine from template components putting it in front of this controller. Now we need the points that the part will be picked by the robot going to the machine and then from the machine to the conveyor. So a from conveyor process and a to conveyor process component will be needed. So having all this, we'll import the robot and place it on the controller. And then from tools, we'll import a three finger gripper to pick up the part. Now when we press play, there is actually the part stopping on the from conveyor process, it means that there is no process yet. So we'll go to the process tab and click on the flow and there is the nodes now appeared. So when you go over the node, there is a label and choosing the label, basically the arrows are created or so called the links that they show where the product will actually flow in our production line. So now the means of transportation between the nodes is interpolating, meaning that we need to actually change that to robot so that robot picks the part, sending it to the machine. For that purpose, we can click on the link and then change the implementer to robot controller or then click on the robot controller label and then right click on the link and change it to the robot as implementer. This is the other way to do it. So now when the product arrives, robot picks it, puts it to the machine and then place it on the exit conveyor. That concludes our video. Thank you for watching and bye for now.